interesting. You're athletic. You got a good athletic swing. Uh, your grip, as I indicated, I think it was a little this way too much. Okay. Then you hooked it. That's only normal. Now I don't want you to take the whole bottle of pills. Just a little adjustment here. Yeah. Just, just a little teeny movement. Now your takeaway and impact position are what I'm going to focus on the most. Okay. Uh, I don't want you to use your hands on the takeaway. I see a lot of hands. I'll show you what I mean. When you when you go back, you see how you bring the hands way around and in, the club yeah. head gets inside yeah. and you rotate the face with your hands. All right, let me show you what I would prefer. No hand action. As a so, so let's just blow this up a little bit. Okay. Now watch his takeaway, and this is at most tour players. See where the hands are. They're on the plane of the shaft. That's the angle of the shaft. And look at the club. The club head's to the right of his hands. Well, look where your club head is. Right. It's, it's, to, it's underneath the plane. Yeah. So, what I'm saying there is you're manipulating the club with your hands. Okay. And so when you do that, you got to figure out how to time that. Right. And that's just one less thing you need to be worrying about. Right. So when you roll the face open, now you got to figure out how to square it up. So that's the one thing I want to take out of it. The takeaway, I want it to look more like his takeaway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. This is a good move at the top. You're not moving much with your head. Position's fine at the top. You're a little steep coming in, but that's not bad. That the only we just want to get the club right here. Okay. So we're only talking about an inch or two. Mm -hmm. We can change that. That's not a big deal. I'll show you how to do that with the with your setup. You're gonna get your your setup a little more tilt to the right. Yeah. 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 And then so when he comes down, notice where his club is. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. So we're only talking an inch or two. We're not talking about very much there. Okay. So we can fix that. All right, I got one more thing to look at. Impact. Because impact is what I focus the most on because that's the position most guys are in. First of all, that grip is a little suspect. Okay. And I'll show you what I prefer is a good grip. I'm big on the grip because that's like oil in a car, man. You got to have, if your grip's not good, at every it's harder to play consistently so let me get this guy up here that has a good grip all right so it's not that you have a bad grip you can see your right hands a little further over though than his your this yeah. this crease right here yeah it's further is like right there versus back at the other shoulder yeah exactly yeah. whereas this crease is like right here yeah that's the only thing I'm saying okay everything else is pretty good that's a nice turn. I like that, man. That looks good. Now, the, the one thing I would say, Mark, is I would like to see you turn your right toe in a little bit. This is a little too much flair for me. Okay. I think the reason, I, I'll tell you the reason behind that is simple. I don't want too much instability in your right leg. I see a lot of straightening in your right leg, and your right knee is a bit unstable. It, it sort of locks up a little bit. Your right leg gets a little straight for me. Okay. Uh, now, why is that important? So you can push off. Have you ever seen a pitcher throw a yeah. pitch with a, a locked leg. right leg? It don't happen. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. So everything else is good. I mean, you hit the ball solid. This change of direction is nice. You're using your hips. You're coming in nice here to the ball. That's awesome. That's a good impact position. If you look at these guys on tour, I mean that shaft is leaning forward more than yours, but that's not the that's not really a big deal. What I'm looking for is is your head fairly still, is your left arm fully extended? Do you have a flat left wrist? All of which you you're doing good there with that. So the face is very square there. So that's good. So we just make a little tweak. So all, in review, all I want to do is get the hands out of the takeaway yeah. and get a little tilt in the upper body. Turn your chest just like this a little bit. And then we'll... Uh, back foot. Yeah, straighten out the foot. That's it.